Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm here driving to my friends. I'm gonna go meet up with them. I just had a nice long day at work and in today's video, I wanted to show you guys what my routine is for setting up for a routine EEG. Since I decided that I'm not gonna be doing very many routine EEGs as much in the future, it's what everybody starts out with, but I'm gonna be moving towards long-term monitoring. So I'm gonna be pretty much monitoring the brainwaves of patients who are on for 24 hours plus, essentially, instead of just a quick 30 minute EEG where you can go into the doctor's office, get it 30 minutes, or go into the hospital, get it 30 minutes, and then done with it. Or sometimes we do routines on inpatients who are staying in the hospital. Maybe they have like a slight altered mental status change and the doctor just wants to see what the heck's going on. Or maybe, maybe they had a stroke and since you have a stroke, you're at a high risk for seizures. So they'd wanna check that as well. So here's my quick little video of my setup for a routine EEG. I thought I'd record it while I was on lunch break since it was not very busy today. So I'll show you guys my setup right here. First, you got your pen and your measuring tape so you can measure the head. You got a popsicle stick to scoop the paste out, and I like to put it on my glove so it's easy access. And then also we got some exfoliating soap stuff and a four Q-tips. I use two at a time, but in case I break one or one falls on the floor, I got some backup. For the EKG electrodes, I like to use pieces of tape so they stick on. And also we got our towel roll here so we can get to the back of the head, have the patient lay right there. And we got all our electrodes here, of course, plugged in. On our EEG machine, we do video and audio recording in case the patient has a seizure, the doctor can see it. And we also have this photic stimulator where we flash a bright light in the patient's eyes looking for photic driving. The next essential thing you need for an EEG is towels and a washcloth to wash the patient's hair with warm water. And also, of course, we got our sanitation wipes to clean our machine after we're done. I hope you guys like this short little video of me just detailing my setup for a routine EEG. I thought since I'm not going to be doing these forever, I might as well document it here, document the journey. If you want to see more EEG videos, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys on the next video.